Hey darlings, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to discuss a bit more about sustainability. Uh, if you haven't seen my first uh, video about sustainability in Bolita fashion, I recommend you check that out first. Uh, I'll put a link or like something that you can click on so that you can go to the first video somewhere here <laughs> and yeah uh, sustainability is important topic to talk about but sometimes it may cause anxiety or other negative feelings by talking this topic i'm not pointing fingers at anyone shaming anyone for their life choices or wanting to cause any discomfort in any level i'm simply wanting to discuss different aspects of sustainability and raise awareness I'm not a professional in this field and I am constantly learning new things related to the topic. If you have any questions or ideas or opinions about things I'll be talking in this video, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. In this video, I'll be discussing my uh, opinions and experiences as a Lolita. And as I mentioned in the first video, sustainability consists of three areas, which are the economical, uh, uh, environmental and social areas and in today's video I will be discussing a bit more or concentrating a bit more on the social aspect of sustainability in other words being sustainable towards other people so I'll be considering some like dilemmas I have uh, experienced or I feel that some Lolita communities may have learning to reuse uh, clothes so um, there is absolutely no shame in wearing a coordinate or the same exact coordinate more than one time uh, i feel like social media and like content creators and influencers are kind of like clouding our judgment in some way because it's their job to create new looks all the time and like just kind of like pumping uh, content for us to see uh, and to inspire us and like in that sense there is nothing wrong with it but I think sometimes we kind of like lose the like idea that we don't as normal people we don't have to be like that we have our own wardrobe and uh, they as their like as their job it's to like well they cannot keep everything that they are like having so they're cycling or recycling their wardrobe so they are selling old clothes from like because they're getting a lot of new clothes they are selling the old ones away but this is kind of like <laughs> it's a consumerism that like it's problem because it like makes us feel as consumers or as like people uh, that we should all the time have something new it's also about like human psychology i think because like we are drawn to new things all the time and like it intrigues us to have something new all the time but anyway this kind of mentality is not sustainable because like you should only buy things that you actually need and wear them a lot and just like wear them out <laughs> trying to kind of like adjust to the idea that everything doesn't need to be fresh and new all the time and just like with the old old clothes or the old clothing that you already have you can create fresh looks and new looks all the time if you just put some effort into it because i feel like coordinating one dress is like almost like a art form it's not really easy but if you do it you just get more creative all the time and i am really happy that there has been this like challenge going around with like one dress for court challenge so that you have one dress and then you coordinate it for different ways or even more and i am really happy about that because like that's kind of like feeding into the like sustainable idea of lolita fashion that you just you don't have just the only one right way to coordinate something but you can actually just like 
use your own sense of style to create different um, outfits. Uh, wearing same coordinate over and over doesn't make you less of a lolita. It's you're a lolita. <laughs> you're a lolita. It's nothing's going to change it. Then, like one tip or trick. Uh, is to prefer dresses and accessories that are uh, like have the same color or type of color uh, and or theme or like just the overall vibe of the uh, garment or the accessory is the same so that it's easier to combine to other coordinates when everything is consistent you have more versatile wardrobe I also recommend you experimenting with Lolita and just like experimenting so that you will find your own unique style and like going along with that so that you're true to yourself of course you can take a look at like some other people how they are doing things and just like maybe like take it to the next level from that and just like kind of like I don't know developing that style so that you find the one style that you like and the one that you want to kind of like do i know that there is like social media and other people create some sort of like social pressure to us um but i just want to point out that you are uh you, you are you and you should do it because you want to do it not because you have to do it so do it because of you because you want to not because you have to lolita is a hobby for some it's a lifestyle sure that's that's not everybody's cup of tea uh but you should just dress up because that makes you happy be happy doing that what you want and what you love uh, so the next part is uh, about prejudice towards other people and learning to be more kind um, because uh, I have encountered some like stigmas and elitism in Lolita communities uh, and those things can be very destructive to new Lolitas or even like a bit older Lolitas because uh, like being negative can really break someone and uh, instead of being negative you should try to be more positive and helpful and inclusive this doesn't mean that you have to be friends with everybody uh, but if you want to be friends with everybody then sure go ahead but uh, it's just like respecting others for who they are uh, and giving them uh, criticism constructive criticism so that you don't like say mean things to other people but say like like i think maybe adding this or this to this coordinate might make it more something so just try to be very like careful what you say because uh not everybody wants uh, criticism or constructive criticism so only give it in those situations when they when the criticism is asked for so if you see something that you don't personally like then just let it be you don't need to tell them that i hate this or i don't like that but instead of being like negative or telling what you don't like if you see something that you do like tell that to them tell why and how or what is good in their coordinates that can make a big difference i mean even if they have a big following it might really make a difference because we cannot see other people's uh insecurities so just be kind because that can really save somebody's day wigs fake lashes circle lenses makeup and brand etc are not necessary uh, if someone tells you otherwise, it's their opinion, you don't really need to feel bad about it. Um, you are doing or wearing Lolita whatever way that makes you happy. You're doing this for yourself, so don't feel bad if somebody says something 
uh, negative to you just try to ignore it and just let it go <laughs> I do feel that most lolitas don't really wear fake lashes, wigs or circle lenses on a regular basis they just sometimes like for example me I don't like to wear circle lenses for some reason I like I could if I wanted to but I don't really have the need to uh, and wigs and fake lashes are just something that like <sighs> I just like to add up so that it kind of like brings the look more like it helps to bring the coordinate together more I feel like most of the time like Dolita makeup also is very light it might be just like a little bit of mascara and just like very uh, like subtle uh, eyeshadow and that's probably it I mean uh, but anyway my point being here is that you should uh, do or wear Lolita whatever like do the way that makes you happy you don't need to use any extra like accessories or anything you can like <laughs> or accessories I mean wigs fake lashes circle lenses etc that I mentioned already but like you don't need them to be Lolita I feel like this year has been very um, informative I have learned personally a lot and this is why I wanted to point out uh, and really like highlight this sec next part that skin color, uh, race, religion, disabilities, gender and sexual orientation don't really matter when it comes to Lolita fashion. Lolita is for everyone and it would be wrong to take that away because of somebody's uh, identity or the way they look so I want to leave this as the like most important thing for this video because um, being sustainable towards other people is really about like accepting accepting them for who they are I want you to spread some love and be uh, kind to others and um, yep yeah. oh actually now that I remember uh, as I mentioned in the fr very first video that uh, I didn't get a summer job but that situation has changed so I am currently working uh, and because um, I'm working full-time it means that I have less time to work on the videos i'm not sure if i will be able to make new videos every week but i will try to but yeah i i hope to keep it at least once per two weeks thing i hope you understand uh that uh, i won't maybe i won't be able to make uh as much content as i would otherwise do if i wasn't working but yeah that's everything for today and i hope you enjoyed this video um if you have any ideas or anything that came up while i was talking uh you can comment down below or if you want to see content like this you could maybe sub subscribe uh like um or follow me on instagram if you want to okay that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, bye!